eight foods that will help you lower your glucose and control your glycated hemoglobin due to the absence of sugars and the low or no amount of carbohydrates. In this week's video, I will talk about eight foods that will help you create your weekly menu, which will assist you in better controlling your glucose. And of course, as always, I will add extra items throughout this video for you to further complement your list of foods and thus, consequently, better manage your treatment. So take advantage of this watch until the end because I am sure that you will leave here learning more and more. And the number one item is meats and fish. There is no way to avoid these items. They are sources of protein that will provide you with satiety and do not directly cause an increase in your blood sugar. Of course, if you overindulge in fatty meat, you may gain weight, increase insulin resistance and make your treatment more difficult. But if you choose meats wisely and incorporate them into your meals, you have an excellent ally to better control your glucose. Beef, pork, chicken, and you can also use fish such as tilapia and sardine and so on. And from these items, you can already have protein options for your entire week. From there, by planning your meals, meaning knowing that at lunch and dinner, you will have some source of protein such as chicken, which is a more affordable item in the basic food basket, or pork, like tenderloin, which also has a more accessible price. You already have a source of protein that will provide you with more satiety, increase your daily protein intake, and reduce your dependence on the amount of carbohydrates in all your meals. So the basic function of protein in a meal, especially for diabetics, is to make you set aside French fries, but add, for example, ground beef. Set aside that excess rice, but always have some source of protein on your plate. So make sure to include proteins in your meals, okay? And the second item is low sugar fruits, meaning some fruits that are not so conventional to associate with daily consumption, but that you consume in your day-to-day -day life. And often you don't even realize such as tomato and also olive. We can also include avocado. These are three options that you can add to your lunch or dinner, or in this case, you can also make a breakfast with tomato or a breakfast with avocado. But you can include these three fruits in your routine and it will not negatively impact your treatment. Remembering that one should not overdo the quantities because everything in excess can be harmful to any human being. It is good to have this awareness. However, diabetics can and should include these three less sweet fruits that we can easily find and incorporate into their daily meals without major issues. Feel free to comment here now if you knew that tomato and olive are considered fruits. And if you consume any of these three items, okay. And item number three is green leaves. We can include lettuce, arugula, watercress, taioba, kale, and cabbage. We can also include some vegetables such as bell pepper and broccoli. They are excellent allies for those diagnosed with diabetes. We also have asparagus. And by including these foods, you will fill your plate more easily and 
gradually set aside carbohydrates. And from the moment you include green leaves, which are rich in vitamins and also high in fiber, adding items like tomato and olive and complementing with beef, pork, chicken, or fish, you will find it easier to assemble your plate and rely less on the quantity of carbohydrates to complete your meal. And it is from there that we can better control our glucose, reduce our glycated hemoglobin in the medium and long term. The main goal of every diabetic who follows me here on the channel is to live free from the onset of complications in the medium and long term. And the most effective way to live free from these complications is through balanced and smart eating. So from the moment you always include some green leafy vegetable, you are correctly assembling your plates. So make sure to note all these tips. If you get confused, you can rewind the video, watch it twice, take notes in your notebook and put it into practice. Okay. And item number four is berries. What does that basically mean, Edu? Blackberry, raspberry, and strawberry are fruits that are more citrusy and have a very low amount of carbohydrates. And they are welcome for those diagnosed with diabetes as they contain vitamins and minerals. And it is an additional fruit option for you to include, for example, as a dessert. Many people have a big problem where they have lunch or dinner but still feel the need to eat something sweet because they have been accustomed to having dessert after meals their whole lives. So I would always eat a chocolate. I would always have an ice cream and so on. But you can start swapping them for strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries. From there, you make an intelligent swap that will promote good glucose control and consequently give you better health. So be sure to include it. Even though they are more expensive fruits, you can organize yourself to buy them once every 15 days or once a month and eat them in a controlled manner over time. So use your intelligence. Don't limit yourself to thinking that you can only eat lettuce and water or that diabetics can't eat anything. And in this video, I'm showing you just the opposite. Foods that diabetics can include without major problems. From more expensive foods like blackberry and strawberry to cheaper foods like lettuce, arugula, and also tomato, pork, chicken and so on so adapt to your reality especially financially but don't forget to make smart choices okay and item number five is nuts and seeds pecan nuts macadamia nuts common walnuts and seeds such as chia flax seed and pumpkin seeds are highly beneficial for those diagnosed with diabetes. They are rich in mineral nutrients, contain a high amount of fiber, and will help you control your glucose much more easily. From there, by using seeds to complement a salad or to add to a meal like lunch or dinner, you will fill your plate in a more appropriate way that will facilitate good control of your glucose. Comment below if you already have the habit of using mainly seeds as they offer a better cost benefit compared to nuts. We know that nuts are not very cheap and you can't buy them every week, but buying, for example, 100 grams of pumpkin seeds, 100 grams of chia or flax, seeds to eat throughout the month is more affordable not to mention that you can use the pumpkin seeds that you might include in your meal for example so 
Instead of throwing the pumpkin seed away, you use it. Let it dry. Dehydrate it and use it as a source of fiber in your meals. Okay. And item number six is the healthier fats and oils. Coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, butter. We can use them in a controlled manner and without excess. From the moment you intelligently include, for example, grilling beef or chicken, you also have an excellent ally for your daily meals, especially extra virgin olive oil to season a salad along with a little black pepper and a bit of lemon. This way you will give more substance to your meals and start forgetting that you need to eat rice, french fries, lasagna, pasta, and so on. You will already be able to create an amazing plate just with these tips that I have provided. And we haven't even finished the video yet. So this is how you can prepare your meals in a smarter and more accurate way regarding carbohydrate consumption, as these are foods with little or no carbohydrates or that have a low amount of carbohydrates and a high concentration of fiber, which will help to avoid spikes in blood sugar. And this is how we make good choices. Fats are welcome as long as you avoid consuming them in excess since they are calorie dense and can hinder, for example, a weight loss process or make it easier for you to gain weight and increase your insulin resistance. So it's good to keep an eye on it, but you can use them without major issues. And item number seven is eggs. Eggs are among the best allies for those diagnosed with diabetes as they contain proteins that are mainly concentrated in the whites, as well as good sources of fat that are primarily found in the yolks. And it is a very versatile food for you to make several meals throughout your week. For breakfast, through scrambled eggs with a little bit of butter. For your lunch, eat an omelette with a little bit of tomato, a little bit of parsley, and a little bit of heart of palm, for example. For your afternoon snack, have a boiled egg that you can eat quickly because sometimes your afternoon is busier. For your dinner, you can have a fried egg in butter accompanied by a salad along with another uh, source of protein and a little bit of flax seed and a little bit of chia seed. And then you can build your meals. Eggs can also be options for making low carb bread recipes, allowing you to create low carb cake recipes. This way you will increase the volume of proteins, provide good sources of fat and reduce the concentration of carbohydrates in these recipes. In fact, if you want access to low carb bread recipes, low carb cake and low carb pancakes, you can, I invite you to join my low carb program for diabetics, which is a course where I teach diabetics how to improve the quality of their food choices through a low carbohydrate diet. So through video lessons, I teach you how to better choose your foods, to take recipes that are part of the program and include them in your routine in order to better control your glucose, lower your glycated hemoglobin and live free of complications with increasing health. If you are interested, the link is in the description. Just click it. It will be a pleasure to have you with us. And eggs are an excellent ally. So make sure to never stop consuming them. Okay. And the item number eight is dairy milk. So you can use whole milk, skim milk, or semi-skimmed milk, even though they contain some lactose. If you don't overdo it with the quantities, there are no major problems. You can also use cream to enjoy with a little coffee, a bit of cream with 
Black coffee is delicious. There's no need to sweeten it with sweeteners, much less with sugar. You can also use cheeses like Minas cheese, ricotta, and mozzarella. From there, you have options for your breakfast or afternoon snack through dairy products. This is how you can build your daily menu with smart choices that will enhance your dietary quality, improve your quality of life, maintain a healthy body weight, control glucose levels, manage triglyceride levels, keep total cholesterol in check, lower bad cholesterol, raise good cholesterol, reduce uric acid, decrease your body weight, and ultimately gain more health. I know that sometimes the addition of carbohydrates to meals is missed, but once you prioritize foods that have a low amount of carbohydrates, nothing prevents you from adding some source of carbohydrates to complement your plate as long as it doesn't become an obligation. You don't need to arrive at lunchtime. First, filling your plate with rice, beans, farofa, and french fries, and then adding some beef along with a salad and a tomato. First, you prioritize foods that have a lower amount of carbohydrates, and then you will gain more and more health, okay? And that was this week's video where we talked about various foods that have either zero or low amounts of carbohydrates and that will help you better control your glucose. If you are still watching, it means you enjoyed the content and if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, turn on notifications and most importantly, share this video with that friend of yours who might have questions about meal preparation. This way, they will have better guidance and improve their treatment. After all, it costs you nothing to share it on Facebook, on Instagram, on WhatsApp, because this way, YouTube starts to understand that it is relevant content and spreads the video to more and more people, okay? Now, I want you to stop everything you're doing and leave a rating here from 0 to 10. What rating do you give to this video? And please leave your feedback, your comments, your compliments, your criticisms, because this way we can direct the content and you will learn more and more to deal with your diagnosis in a light, healthy, and uncomplicated manner. Okay? Here next to me, I will leave more great content. So don't forget to keep binge watching the videos to continue learning how to deal with a diabetes diagnosis in a light, calm way with quality and increasing health, okay? So we will leave it here. May God be with you all and see you later.